Today we're focusing on easy out. So as you can see close up, this is what's happened here. Uh, the line must have got caught on something. I didn't see it, but uh, yeah, she snapped off. So we got to fix that. The problem is, as you can see, that is pretty well flush. Now I'm trying not to get any dirt in there, but so you really can't grab hold of it or anything or anything like that. So you got to have a special tool to get it out. And as I mentioned, we're focusing on easy outs or uh, extractor tools and things like that. If you look closely at the cuts in this or the twist in it, it is reversed. So normally you'd put a screw in clockwise and that would be unscrewing in this case. So by having them reverse, when you put this in, it wants to go in and bite onto the broken part and turn it out counterclockwise. So that's how this particular type of uh, extractor or easy outs, what I call them, uh, that's how they work. Otherwise, there's really no way you can get a hold of that uh, piece in there. I just got this in here. Sometimes you gotta tap it in on the end here a little bit. Other times, if it's not too tight, you can just put the wrench on here and start turning and get this thing to come out. And this particular one takes a, um, looks like I think it's a nine, yeah, nine millimeter. Fits right on here. So we'll just put that on there. I'm just gonna go and turn it just like I would, you know, a wrench or a bolt or anything and see. And look at that, that's gonna come out. So having the right tool makes all the difference in the world. So now we can go ahead and take this out and replace it with a new part. Okay, so let's get this all the way out carefully to keep all the dirt away. But there you go, there's the piece uh, broke off. And the rest of it, of course, is down here. We'll get into that more in just a second. Just to show you a little bit more about these easy outs here. You know, they come in multiple sizes depending on your, you know, the, the problem you have. So you can... Uh, Choose the right size. These are all fairly small. I mean, that's a pretty good size on there. You know, maybe the size of your pinky or something like that. But they really can get very big as well. I mean, look at the size of this one, you know, next to my hand. That's a very big, very big one right there. You can see uh, much bigger than, than the other ones. So this set here is called a uh, screw ext extractor. And this is uh, by the Standard Tool Company of Chicago. It's actually probably antique, very old. Um, but I still use these to this day, and this is just a crafting set. I will put a link to uh, some of these in the description because they are a very handy tool to have, uh, just specifically for what we ran into with this here. And um, they will save you in a bad situation really quick. So I ordered a new part, but I need this tractor first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm hoping, I know the threads are a little messed up on that, but I'm going to try to repair those threads a little bit. I have enough thread there. If I clean that up, I might be able to get that back in there enough to get by for tomorrow morning. Uh, but I got to get this apart here first and remove that. And again, I'm trying to keep any dirt out of any of these fittings. So we'll have to clean all that up before we put it back together. What I did is I did a lot of filing and cleaning of some of the threads with a file, a thin file, cutting the grooves back in it, just enough so I can get this started back inside here. I am gonna put some Teflon on it too because it's not gonna go in as far as I'd like. See if I can get it started again. I was able to get it in there and get a couple turns and get it facing back in the right direction. So hopefully I can do that again, at least temporarily. It only got a hold for a day or two. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get this back down, facing the right direction. Okay, we're all attached. We should be good to go. Oh, you can see everything was working fine. And the one that was leaking, obviously, was this fitting but it was the one that controlled the the um, wrist of the bucket here. So you saw I went up and down with that a couple times and everything is nice and dry. So yeah, a temporary fix. Certainly want to get a new fitting in there, but this will work in the meantime, but this shows you how important it is to have the right tools because that would have been 10 times longer of a job without the easy out. So I'll put a link for those in the description. Hey, uh, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.